This guy Porchops got so excited by our guest, he started playing the fucking song. <laughs> Can you introduce yourself? Hi, everybody. I'm uh, David e. Beats. How are you? What's going on, man? Chilling. Your cool demeanor. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like Todd, but you know, you're making moves. You know yes, you are. I see you coming through with your guitar. You're a different artist, man. Yeah, I try to be. You know, just trying to so, see, so let me know. You're a hip hop artist that plays the guitar. Yes, actually. Um, How does that coincide? I mean, this is what people fail to realize is that hip hop is like everything. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yes. Like it's a it's a it's a way of life. It's not about whether you play instruments or, or what you wear or you know how you look. It's just whether you can spit and whether hip hop is your life, and that's it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So what's the, so what is like the surprise when people just see you with the guitar? They think you're gonna do some alternative and you just start spitting. Well, like you know, I had a show last night and I came up there with the guitar and I killed it with the jump. And the first thing that usually comes out of people's mouth is, "Oh wow, you're actually nice with it," mm -hmm. you know. And it's like, um, you know, they don't really expect, you know, especially most urban acts have never really seen anyone play a guitar live ever in their lives. Yes. So the fact that you kind of come out there and you blow them away is already enough and then on top of that I put the guitar down and start freestyling for the cold crowd is like, okay, who are you trying to be like? You're like, you know, what's going on? You know? Yeah, but you don't see any artists do that. Like, you're, you're not going to see 50 Cent with a guitar or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna, yeah. Maybe Kanye, but not no 50. Uh, not even. Uh, nah, I, I can see Kanye doing that. Yeah. Son, son. I got the new guitar. Let me tell you about this man, David E. Beats and his manager, Olivia. Yeah. You guys are like the little mama of rap. Yeah. I swear. I don't know if that's a compliment or like an insult. No, the way I'm saying it is a compliment. Oh, okay. These guys are everywhere. Damn, that's the guitar right there. Yeah, sorry. I think I think I angered the guitar or something when I said that. What happened? She never said that. Why? Little mama. Little mama, she has a bad rep right now. I'm not right. Yeah, but I'm saying it in a good way. There's no good way of saying that. You know, <laughs> David E. beats a little mama in the same sentence. I'm sorry, I apologize on here. But who else is like out there like that? Besides, besides little mama, it's fifty cents. Fifty cents all over the place right now. Well, of course, yeah, he's dropped the album. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, unfortunately, he dropped the album. But do you see how much he sold? I don't really care. One hundred fifty thousand. Really? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. Fifty. What? Yeah, 50. 50? Mr. I Go Platinum Every Album? 50? Curtis Jackson. Really? Yes. AKA Boo Boo. If you oh. want to be hood. Mm. Wow. Call me Boo Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Straight on the south side. So we have David E. Beats in here. So how long have you been playing the guitar? I've been playing the guitar for more than two years now. You know, just uh, started. Uh, this is actually the guitar that I brought with me. Uh, whenever you see me live, I play my electric. But, you know, when I do these interviews, so how many guitars do you own? I got like four. Yes. Four guitars. Yeah, I got four. I know Portal's behind me is like doing that thing with his hand right now. I know it. Uh, yeah, when this guy happy when he gets happy, you just see a fat man like this. Oh yo, kind of look like, like a Pokemon? Uh, he is a Pokemon. Like I swear he's like the living the living Snorlax or some shit. Uh, <laughs> so you're from Washington DC. Yes sir. But you moved up here from to the Bronx. Yeah. I did. So how was like the cultural sh cultural shock? It was like, uh, I don't know, it was um, equivalent to getting slapped every day for <laughs> a couple of months. Like, it was just uh, like, uh, at first it was awesome. I was like, oh, the beer is awesome, this place is great. You smell the grittiness? Yeah, yeah, I'm the like, bus. oh man, this place is gritty, you know, it's hip hop, you know, I feel it. Yeah. And you went to the Bronx because you're like, because you know, outside they like, oh, Bronx is like the place that started hip hop. You think you want to be? I moved to the Bronx to be real with you because it was uh, affordable. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I didn't. I, it didn't really occur to me that it, 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 it occurred to me when I walked into the Burger King mm -hmm. and I saw Big Daddy Kane. Yes. And that's when I realized, wait a minute, I'm in the South Bronx, and that's where hip hop started. Maybe it was destiny, man. Yeah, you never know. Like, that's amazing. So, as hey, you look, coming up as an artist, and you saw that, what did you feel? Um, it was just like, wow. I mean, being in D.C., you rarely see. A celebrity, unless it's Wale or Tabby. Mm -hmm. Say, you know, you got presidentials, you know? Yeah, we got presidentials now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. You know, but, I mean, other than that, 
back then, Washington just used to be really like the the state where all the rappers came to pick up the chicks, you know. Um, all the East Coast people. Yeah. Like I heard down there, they don't like New York people for nothing. They scared of me. Yeah, hey, I got experience. <laughs> they they don't they don't. They don't. Over over there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Where has this been featured? Like, I saw your resume. That was crazy. You are all hip-hop. I think I accidentally pressed like one of your songs all hip-hop. Yeah. But over here, so where have you been featured? I've been featured on um, Hip Hop DX, All Hip Hop, uh, Hip Hop Ruckus, Afro-American Newspaper down in D.C., In Touch Magazine in D.C. Um, it's a lot of features. A lot, a lot of features. Um, 90.3 FM. 92.3 FM. Yes. 6:40 AM. WCCR. Um, 88.6 FM in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Um, University of Maryland College Radio. I think that's 80 something. Uh, so you have like a rap sheet of freaking uh, appearances. Yes, yeah, a lot. It's, it's, a, it's more. It's a whole lot. So what was the whole process of making this song? Um, the whole album was a process, basically I was going through, when I came to New York, it wasn't just come to New York, make moves, and it was a lot of BS, I came up here to produce for artists, that's when I learned what I like to call, that's when I learned about what I like to call the New York City swindle, mm-hmm. where people will fake their MySpace plays and wear chains and everything, and make you think like they buzzing in New York, and then you come up to New York and then they not. Do you have any artists in particular that you th- that is, is doing yeah, I'm this? I'm not going to get in trouble today. <laughs> <laughs> not today. <laughs> okay. But, uh, so you actually have a video for this now, right? Yes, I do. And you, you actually work with a French director. Yeah. Why did you work with an American director? In France. Uh, because the French director was willing to do it uh, for free. And um. <laughs> He's always better. <laughs> and um. You know, I mean, he was dope. Like, I saw his saw his videos that he's done in the past. Turns out that he did some commercials, like some TV commercials and stuff, mm-hmm. in France. And he has a very nice um, resume behind him and everything. So, we linked up. He liked my stuff. I liked his stuff. And we just made it happen, you know? So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, from coming from Washington, D.C., how is the competition in Washington, D.C. and New York City better? Like, how is it different? Of course, New York City is nothing but competition, but the way that I feel, honestly, is like, um, competition, I don't like to use that word because, I mean, hip-hop is like a billion-dollar industry, so. Not anymore. Um, As of last year, no. Really? Is yeah. Is it like in the millions now or something? It's in the millions now. It's like the hundred millions and the No, it's not that low. But it's close, but it's not in the billions officially. Yeah. But it's still a lot of them. It's still a lot of money. So it's like, I feel like if we all do what we're supposed to do, we can all do but New York, there, there, there's a lot of rappers. There's too many rappers. So there's nothing in Washington, D.C.? There's a lot of rappers, too. But you, you can easily sip through the Hill with the Fat Moves. Yes. You know, like, there, there's a lot of... You, you you go down to an open mic or a showcase in D.C., you know who's whack and you know who's dope. Like, Washington, D.C., like, are the rappers confused? It's like, it's like in the middle. Yeah. Do you consider Washington, D.C. like the South? Um, yeah, because you go down there and everyone has Southern accents. And the baggy jeans and the big white tees? Nah, we don't do baggy jeans. We do the white tees, but everything's fitted. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Some some skinny jeans in there, but not like New York. It's just we got our own little style out there. You know what I'm saying? DC fitted, white tees, Yankee boots. You know what I'm saying? And what's your favorite Soccer. football team? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you know what I'm saying? The style is just. Oh, you don't avoid that. What's your, what's your favorite football team? Dude? Uh. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying, DC. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know when it comes to football game day, you're like, I hate New York. Yeah. I hate New York. Nah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't really care about the Redskins. The Redskins actually made it so that I don't like football anymore. <laughs> like the Knicks would be in basketball. Jeez, yeah, Knicks is horrible. God. I used to I used to be really hard in the football in high school. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, they, it's just like, they play like my high school team, like, when we was in the gym, you know what I'm saying? Like we was, I was like, yo, we play better than the skins, yo. Like it's kinda crazy, but don't I hope nobody from DC listening to this and they want my phone gonna blow up. Too bad. You have the videos. <laughs> like, don't, you, don't be talking about the skins, you know what I'm saying? I got you, I got you to talk dirty about something today. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't get you to talk about a rapper, but I got you to talk bad about a Washington DC football team. We we off there. How do you feel about the Wizards? Oh man. Yeah, so. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's, let's stop trying to get this man in trouble, so... Hey, I made it to my mission stand.